There's no check or balance on an Oral Roberts, on a Jerry Falwell, on a Swaggart, uh, any of these people. In fact, they are supported by checks, lots of them. It's common practice for televangelists to solicit cash from their viewers. This leads to criticism that some shepherds are using questionable methods to milk their flocks. Now, yes, I want to go to heaven. That's my purpose someday. I want to go to be with God. But I don't want to go before my time is finished. Oral Roberts puts the fear of God in his viewers when he claims that he has been given a deadline to raise eight million dollars for his medical school or God will call him home. We have three months. I'm asking you to help, help extend my life. Roberts is saved in the nick of time with a 1.3 million dollar check from a wealthy devotee. It's been a day long and a half a million dollars. This mass suicide is here to the Mayan calendar which predicts the end of time to occur on in another house of God. One of the more popular ways for televangelists to measure their success is by spreading the gospel in their own corporate jet. For the past several months, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland of Fort Worth have been traveling the globe in a new $20 million jet, a jet they pledged would be used for the purpose of serving their ministry. So are the Copelands practicing what they preach? Shout amen, somebody! Glory to God. Glory to God! Kenneth and Gloria Copeland's Believer's Voice of Victory Ministry is broadcast around the world. This thing is working. Glory to God. The couple preaches not only the gospel of prosperity, but the promise of healing through faith. Stomach to be healed in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Knees and elbows and arms and legs. Be healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It was the prospect of wellness that for years lured Bonnie Parker of Winsboro, Louisiana Glory to, God. to the yeah. Copeland's broadcast every Sunday morning. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Believer after believer lining up to be healed. All it took was faith. And according to Parker's husband Alvin and daughter Christy, it took something else. Money. We know it was a lot, a whole lot, if, if um Hundreds of dollars? Oh, no, no. <laughs> You're going to go on up. You're going to go on up. Way on up. At least tens of thousands. Yeah, yeah, hundreds of thousands. This is Powerball. America's Not to mention the money Parker spent on the lottery. Handwritten notes reflecting her desire to remit her winnings to the Copelands. Of cancer, I rebuke you. Who she believed could stop the cancer ravaging her body. I can't see how they can sell something <laughs> that doesn't even belong to them to begin with. But that's what they're doing. They're selling something that you can't sell. But at the same time Parker was paying and praying for healing. There it is, right there. The Copelands needed cash. Twenty million dollars to buy this, a new jet that according to Kenneth Copeland would be used only to spread the gospel. It will never, ever be used as long as it is in our care for anything other than what is becoming to you, Lord Jesus. My mom paid for with her life. I can't, I can't imagine that. I want... An admission of guilt, a plea for forgiveness. Former evangelical leader Ted Haggard has confessed to his congregation that he's had a lifelong sexual problem. That confession from a statement read during morning services at the church Haggard founded. Oh, my. Isn't it wonderful? As many as 70 million Americans are tuning in to televangelists. On their own nationally syndicated TV shows, congenial clergy offer faithful viewers a smile, a prayer, and a positive image. Give us 300 more people 
to call on their credit card right now. Reverend Jim Baker's PTL Club is a giant. PTL stands for Praise the Lord, and Baker has reason to. It earned $129 million in 1986. In March, Baker begins to fall from grace when it is disclosed that he had an adulterous encounter in 1980 with a 19-year-old church secretary, Jessica Hahn. Really Soon, blackmail is added to the list of improprieties with the report that Richard Dorch, Baker's top aide, may have paid Hahn over $100,000 to keep quiet. If Jim Baker would pay Jessica Hahn hush money, quote-unquote, what else has he been doing with the PTO money? Seizing an opportunity to capitalize and gain new disciples, other televangelists start spreading much more than the word of God. He needs to come clean about Jessica Hahn and repent. He needs to acknowledge these homosexual problems dating back from 1956 to the present time as they've been alleged to us. And he needs to return the millions of dollars. I've been married to this man for 26 years, and I can tell you one thing. He's not homosexual, or is he bisexual? The evidence is growing that there were other things, such as prostitution. He's a wonderful, loving husband. I felt that entire double, uh, debacle was a cancer that needed to be excised from the body of Christ. And it seems that PTL funds have been added to the Baker's $1.6 million salary to serve Jim's lavish lifestyle and Tammy Faye's passion for shopping. I honestly, honest, I do not know how much I make. I've never thought about it. She don't. I really don't. <laughs> Closed, PTL hovers in purgatory. But it's a disgrace to the Constitution of the United States Meanwhile, Jessica Hahn changes her image but remains in the public eye. A far cry from the innocent church secretary. Two years later, while on trial for fraud and conspiracy charges, Jim Baker suffers an emotional breakdown. He is found guilty of taking $158 million from followers on false pretext. hear about the trip to heaven. This really happened. This really happened. It happened about several weeks ago, didn't it, honey? when I was sitting in the bathtub and I was taking a bath and I was thanking the Lord for the things in our house fire and I thank you for that and I think and I began to, to worship the Lord there in the bathtub with my hands in the air and tears streaming down my face and all of a sudden God said to me it's time for you to turn in your promissory notes what are the odds <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Just move around a little bit. There she goes. Just walk with me. Oh, glory to God. She's not going to need that walker anymore. God's just putting new strength, new health, burning that arthritis out of her body. Just keep going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was able to arrange for another broadcast of the Miracle Crusade on The Tonight Show. But this time, the wireless prompting was included. In 1987... Peter Popoff declared bankruptcy. Greater is he! From a statement read during morning services at the church, Haggard found it. The fact is, I am guilty of sexual immorality. And I take responsibility for the entire problem. I am a deceiver and a liar. I said that the government is building these ships. So when do we let the people know? Our mission is to assure the continuity of our species. Wasn't it also decided the people have the right to fight for their lives? No! 